It's called a doodle party and this is a really fun thing to do. So you can set this up on your own, use all your stencils, invite your friends, and it is fun. I'm sure some of you probably have doodle books with these zentangles and patterns and so forth. This would be the time to pull these out, refresh your memory. I don't think I own enough, do I, right? Ha! Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I do this. I thought it was something that was a lot of fun. Here's some examples of some of the work that um, I've done at various doodle parties. So I'm gonna show you some of these. This is actually one of my faves right here. And I think this is in my book, the Stencil Girl book. I'll show you how easy it is to do this and how you could easily set this up for you and your friends. I think this one, look Ma, no stencils. No stencils on this one. Can you flip and imagine? And here's one I did in color, which I don't really do them in color that much, but I guess I was in a colorful mood. And here's another one. So here's the first thing. I do them on foam core, little inexpensive sheets of foam core like you can get at the dollar store. And I use an X-Acto knife and I cut the foam core into a six inch by six inch size. Here's the reason I do this. It's the rigidity of it. It's really nice. It's something then that you can carry with you. You can tuck into your purse and you can work on it. You know, maybe if you're doing carpool and you have some waiting time for the kids, or maybe you're sitting in, on an airplane or, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you can keep it with you and have something to do. So that's why I do it on foam core. If you don't want to do it on foam core, get, um, paper that will tolerate a marker well, like a Bristol paper or something like that that's got a real smooth finish. Now, back in the day when I did this, I was always using this Identa pen. The reason I used it was, one, it was permanent, and two, it has two ends. So it has a fatter end, like this, this one end, and then it has a skinnier end. And so you automatically have two different options when you're making your lines on your foam core and that makes it nice today there's all kinds of different pens on the market some that i like i like this micron pn pn stands for plastic nib so the nib of it is actually plastic so it's a little bit rigid and it holds the line quite nicely I only use permanent pens for this, okay? It's important that it's a permanent pen. The Sharpie pen is a nice one. It has a nice little nib on it too. I'm trying to show these nibs so you can get a look at them. Another pen I like pretty well is this Pilot Multi-Ball pen. It's got a nice nib. I had to search these out online. Um, so those are four black pens I like. You can use white, the Uniball Signo, and black foam core with a white pen. Yeah, oh wow. And then um, also the glaze pen is really nice for black too. So um, anyway, those are some pen options. And some of these, including the color ones, I think I went back in with my pit markers and um, did those. All right, let me show you this stencil. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's one of mine, I think. It's L015. This makes a great stencil to use. This is what I did on this one. I, um, I don't know where I laid it out, but you can see how you get all these areas where you can work in and you have a lot of options and so that's a fun stencil to use. Stencils that are going to work well are ones that have good open parts and um, it gives you space to doodle in. This is a very simple doodle that I did and I used this daisy stencil. So all I did was lay this daisy down some which way here and I traced around it with a pen 
and then you're good to go. Then you can go back in and just doodle till your heart's content. Oh no, another stencil you need. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you know what a pusher I am, right? This one is one where I took some flowers and then some other, I don't know what all these are here, and then I did a border down here. But this is part of this flower up here, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's so hard to tell afterwards. But these flowers like this are really nice to use for doodling. Do the doodle, yes, right. Here's another flower one that I did. And um, it's kind of cool to do that. So I created some backgrounds with color for tonight because I thought, well, maybe that would be fun to do something a little different. So I'm gonna show you how I can get started on this. And I'm just gonna see if I can lower this, but I don't think I can. I don't have it at the right angle. Um, let me grab that daisy. Okay, so here is what you do. Find some open stencils and then lay them out any which way you want on your substrate, whether your substrate is a piece of foam core or whatever. So you can lay it out like this. Now this one's not that open, but it's gonna add some variety. And then what you would do, I think I'm gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use this one I used to use all the time. And I've kind of got it laid out because I'm gonna, um, I think I'll start with this one here. And I'm afraid that this is gonna be like watching somebody doodle or watching paint dry or something. So this might be kind of boring and I'm not gonna go crazy doing it. I just wanna give you some ideas of how you can start these and why I think it's so fun to do. Okay, so here we're getting this started. And um, I'm gonna go in here, oops. And you know, I am messy and I don't care because what I find is when I'm doing this and I'm doodling, if I get messy, I can go back in and make those parts darker, like I could make them solid black and totally cover up my messy bits, or I could go back and get my pit pen and make those parts gray. I mean, there's a lot of options. So this is all, it's just a very different way to be creative and um, Really, the sky's the limit. You're just simply using your stencil as a guide. So here's this one started out on here, and then I'm gonna put this one over. I'm gonna just overlap it here, but I'm not gonna do it overlapped. I'm just gonna butt it up to next to the other. I've used this stencil a lot for this sort of thing, and it's kind of cool when you use it because you get these little border parts. See how you get the border of the daisy? And I think it's kind of fun to then go back in and you can do you know whatever you want there. And if you have different colored pens, I mean, I'm sure you are all thinking of a million different options already that you can do because but seriously, you don't have to limit it to black and white. You, um, you know, the sky is truly the limit here. So I think you're getting the idea how this is gonna come together and create a composition that you can then work within. And I mean, you can do anything from simple dots to actually creating doodle designs within every little component part. You could go back and paint areas you know, you can shade or do things with the, the pit pen. Look at how these pit pens go on top of these other paint colors. Now here's the only thing I'm gonna say about paint, is this is gonna be one of these instances when you're gonna want um, a paint that has like a chalkier finish or an inexpensive craft paint. Because in order to draw on top of it like this, that's gonna work better, okay? Now, Here's another stencil 
This is a Mary Nazar stencil. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> this makes a great one just as it is. Like you could just put this stencil down straight on top of here. And because of all these little open parts are so fantastic for doodling right within. I mean, you can see I did one with this that I think is in my book and I, I couldn't find it today. But anyway, this is a really fun stencil to doodle with. Now, another way you can vary stencils is to just make your own layout. So like this is a great border stencil. And this is kind of what started this for me in the beginning was thinking about Nancy Curry's because look at how cool these borders are. You could put these borders around, like you could border it with this and then you could go back and put these in the middle. You could do so many different things and that was what got me to thinking about the doodle in the beginning. Here is another way to doodle more of a free form. Oh, let me show you another stencil I actually put down. I painted this one with a gold paper artsy paint, and then I put this stencil Christy Taylor's down here on top, and I just did a really thin coat of gesso on here. And then you can go back in with your pen and pop the blacks and the whites. So you can go back in. I think this one's gonna be a really nice one. And I actually think I'm gonna take this on the plane with me because I think this would be a really fun one to work on when we fly out west. So another way to get this started I showed you how to start by doing a stencil layout, and you can certainly do many of them with the stencil layout, but here's another way to do it. And so just take your pen and really be free form. So here we go, we've got a design. I hope you can see this. So now you can go in and you can add more within each design. So you could certainly go in and add this over here. I just think there's so many fun ways to do this and truly for me, it is just the most portable thing in the world because you can just add this to your bag and um, you have one pen. If you use this pen with the double, the double um, ends and you know, you are just set. All you need on the plane is, um, you know, this and this and you have something to entertain yourself. And I just love the freedom of that. I, um, I really think it's a fun thing to do. And then to, um, to come home then with a little piece of art is so nice. I think um, I enjoy doing this. For a long time, I had these. <laughs> I used to keep these little foam core squares on my coffee table along with a box of pens and along with a box of stencils. And so whenever somebody came into the house, I would explain to them quickly how to do it. And before you knew it, you had people doing all these little doodle things. And it just, it's something that is approachable for anybody because you don't have to know to draw. Everybody knows how to doodle, whether they say so or not. Trust me, they all know how to doodle. Here are some other stencils that are really good for setting up designs. Okay, okay, you know how I am, grid girl here, right? Well, um, let's, I've already painted that. Oh, here's a nice color background. You can create great doodle edges with this. You can create great spots 
with this one. You can use the bigger version and the smaller version. This is the bigger version. This is the smaller version. You know, you could use the smaller version within the bigger version. I mean, there's just so many options. If you go through your stash, I'm sure you are going to find a million different stencils that'll work for this. It is just so much fun. And um, like, look at this. So you could even use some paint in certain parts. I mean, when you're doing this, imagine then that you get, um, well, could I have a sponge anywhere on this desk? You know, I've got so much going on here. You think, yeah, here's a little sponge. Okay, so let's see um, what color we could add that might show up. Let's just use some white because it'll be really simple to see. I'm gonna just add, get some of Dina Wakely's white gesso here and show you how you could easily add some detail. Oh, look at this one. I think this almost looks like a doodle stencil. Anyway, this is a Jamie Fingal. Look at this wave pattern over here in the corner. I love that. So let's go ahead and let's find a corner to set it up in and we can put the wave pattern on there. You could tape this off if you want, but you know, I live dangerously, what can I say? So see how I've already done that one little corner and then I can just keep moving it around. This is the thing about stencils that I like so much is you can see where you're going, you know? I never used to like that about rubber stamps is that you can't um, really see where you're going with the rubber stamp because it covers it up. I mean, the clear ones are better, but, and then look at this. You can even kind of get your baby wide and remove the paint if you go over the edge. Now I'm gonna be intentionally sloppy so I can show you what I'm talking about. So just grab your baby wipe and wipe it away. This is certainly a quick way to do some sections if you, you know, you don't have time to put every, a doodle in every little spot. Yeah, Cheryl, that's my kind of easy. I hear you, girlfriend. I hear you. So, there's just so very, very many options, and it's super fun. So, you don't have foam, use Bristol. You don't have Bristol, use your journal. Get your journal out. Use anything you want. Use paint, use markers, use black and white, color, everything works. And we would love to see what you do, so be sure and share with us, you guys. We love knowing what everybody's doing with our stencils. I hope that you've gotten some ideas. Oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing. There's a movie on tonight. If you have a PBS channel uh, locally, look this movie up. It's called Dark Money. And it is a nonpartisan thing that everybody needs to watch that tells how elections are funded in the background. This movie, Dark Money. So look it up. Put it on your DVR or whatever. I think you might enjoy it. One of my high school friends produced the movie, and I'm pretty proud of the work that she's doing. And Anyway, doodle, doodle, doodle. Make some stuff. Show us what you make. I can't wait to see it. I'll lay all mine out here. Gosh, it kind of does look fun, doesn't it? I can't wait to see what everybody does. It's truly a party. You just get some people to come over, put some music on, get some wine, and doodle to your heart's content. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I appreciate you every day. We love our Stencil Girl customers. Go check out our website and check out Stencil Girl Studio. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe so you'll know when the next stencil tutorial is available. Discover thousands of stencils, info about classes, and about Stencil Club when you click the links below. Happy stenciling!